Yes, Duncan here. Uh, let's talk liberal politics and homelessness. So here we go. First and foremost, please subscribe to my channel, like my videos, and share. Let's get this message out. So first and foremost, here I am in Southern Oregon. Um, Oregon has a vast homeless population. It's a sanctuary spot. We have sanctuary status here and inside of our biggest city. And our biggest city is the one dictating voice in this entire area for this whole state. So let me tell you what the homelessness brings here. First and foremost, homelessness is often created from the lack of jobs and from too many debts and, and or other problems. So what happens is these illegals come into places like California and Oregon, these liberal states, sanctuary spots. They come in, they take, they can't work legally, they can't pay taxes legally, so they work these low level minimum wage jobs. These minimum wage jobs are the ones that go to our kids, are the ones that go to our lower uh, tax bracket citizens. Well, as illegal immigration immigrants come here and as they're given these jobs, more and more of our citizens are pushed away from these jobs. But there's another factor. Another factor is that these jobs are not and never were meant to be a sole income to, of providing for a family. But many of these liberals use illegal votes to essentially raise the minimum wage to help make these sanctuary spots livable for, you know, for, kid, for uh, illegals so they can provide off minimum wage. So what happens is these illegals come in they create this job market that goes away. They create this poverty. They create these problems inside. Uh, they take many of our jobs, many of our youth's jobs, and they create this homelessness. So here I am in Southern Oregon, and let me show you the results of it. Okay, I'm in a field behind the train. This train that I'm about to show you goes from all the way from the California border and Mexico comes from the southern south of, or of California all the way up and hits Washington goes into Washington State so a lot of people hop on this train they ride the rails or they essentially illegally hop trains go to where they have to go they look for places like this here watch I'll show you let me turn you around so they come here they get on these trains, okay? They get on the trains. They ride the trains till they see fields like this. All this opportunity, nice trail right next to the train. Okay, all behind the buildings. Nobody can see anybody back here. This is a great place for homeless. This is a great place for people who ride the train. They see places like this. The railroad yard is down there, so they try to hop out. The railroad yard is over there. So they try to hop off the train here before they get to the railroad yard. They come here, and now let's take this trip down this road. Okay, here's what they're looking for. They're looking for a place that they can put their tent. They're looking for a place that they can sleep or survive. So they come here, walking down this path, Okay, many of them with their bags still on. You can start to see, it's probably the last cigarette. They start smoking their cigarette. Start coming off, they're off the train now. They're happy. So they're, you know, they're coming out here. They're seeing spots like these bushes. They're thinking, hey, that provides pretty good shelter. I could probably sleep here a night or two. So they show up. They come over here, you can see how, you know, garbage, is, trash is starting to pick up a little bit. 
Okay, there's a little bit more garbage here. Then as you can come back, you can see tents made out of tarps in the back where these people have professionally rode rails for a long time. They've rode the trains. So they look for places like this. Ideal locations. So they come in and as you get closer to this camp and this is, you can see these trees back here are an ideal location. Okay, they come back here, they hide behind these trees, they put themselves in these sleeping bags, cuddle down, and you don't ever know they're here. But you can see, there's more garbage. And as you walk up, you can see the trails of where people have gone. They float in here like streams of water. And I don't know if you can see this or not, but if you can come back here... You can see, this is what's left of it. This is the problem, right here. You see, I can understand homelessness. I can understand not having a place to sleep. Heck, I've been through it. But this, this is sad, guys. Here's where you have your fire pit. It's all garbage. You got to be very careful out here. You got to watch for needles and stuff. Because, you know, there's a bunch of drug addicts that come out here. You can see more garbage. It's everywhere. So again, I can see being homeless. It hurts. There's a lot of people have problems. It happens. We go through hard times. People make the best of what they got. But look at what we're dealing with. This is this is just nasty, guys. Absolutely nasty. This is some kind of trap. Some, see how they've literally bunched it together to create this? See, that's all tied? See, they created this hidden tube so that you don't see it from the road. They do it by bending over the branches, tying them down. <laughs> okay, you come over here, look at this. Look at this, more trash. Again, you gotta watch for needles and stuff out here. Okay, so you gotta come back here. I come out here all the time looking for homeless, trying to get them out of here. They see there's garbage. Look, this is the messes that we have to deal with. This is what's left. So it starts out as illegal immigration, but it turns into illegal immigrants taking the jobs of our citizens. And what happens is these jobs go to illegals who then raise and get boats to raise the minimum wage, which makes it even harder for people on a low budget. Many people lose their homes. Many people are often forced to come out See, there's another basket right there. Okay, many people are forced to come out here and to live homelessly. But they come out here and they end up trashing the place. They tear it apart. They leave garbage laying around. They look for anything and everything to rip stuff and leave it nasty. This is what liberalism looks like right here. Homelessness garbage this is what this this is what sanctuary looks like okay homelessness and garbage more garbage shoes more baskets okay and as you leave the camp as you start walking away from their homeless camp and you start coming back towards society you can notice there's a lot less garbage these people are getting the food, they're pushing the baskets away from the grocery stores, they're bringing them all the way out here to their camps, and they're living out here in their lean tube tents, hidden away from everybody, and they trash the place. All because of their life, their minimum wages, their uh, price of living, 
gets jacked up. Because we all know that when you raise the minimum wage, the price of living raises with it. This is another cause of homelessness. We all know that liberal states and cities filled with sanctuary are home to drug addicts, homeless, alcoholics. This is something we must stop. We must do something about this. As Oregon's next governor, I will be sure to do something about this homeless population. We must get jobs. We must put people to work. We must create places for these people to go, to shower, to shave, to get clothes presentable enough for job applications. We must do something with these people. We can no longer allow them to come here, to be thrown out of their jobs, out of their homes, to come live in the back of nowhere, homelessly, in a tent. We cannot allow the American citizens to suffer at the hands of illegal immigration. You've seen it here. This is what liberalism looks like. Garbage, trash, homelessness. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, like, and share. Let everybody know that liberalism is not American. Liberalism is all about poverty. It's all about creating chaos, confliction. It's all about suffering. If you live in Oregon, 2018 is a big year. We have a chance to flip this state. We have a chance to get Kate Brown out of office. We have a chance to do something special. I'm asking for your help, your vote, your support. I want you to go out there. I want you to tell everybody that there's a patriot running for office. There's a patriot looking to get Kate Brown's job. His name is Mark Duncan. I am running as Oregon's next governor. I will flip this state. I will stand for Americans. I will not let illegal immigrants or immigration control our politics, our rights, or our taxes. Vote Duncan 2018 as Oregon's next governor. We can redeem this state. We can flip this liberalism and bring it back to Americanism. Thank you. Have a great day. God bless. Please subscribe and share and like my channel. Thank you. Have a great day. Duncan out.